Queen. And we are Gothica Jewelry in Worthing. I'm gonna pop in and see my brother Omar, see how he's doing. Omar! Ingram! How you doing? Good. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I can't honestly say to you that I'm into jewellery that much, but you've got some interesting stuff here, so... Thank you. So tell me, how long have you been in Worthing now? Um, I started in Worthing from the end of July, early August, and um, I was able to acquire the shop in uh, in mid-July. Yeah. So we've only been open a bit now, but yeah. the response has been pretty great. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Okay, so what got you into jewellery and, and gothic jewellery? Uh, well, uh, it's a funny story actually. Um, I was in the clothing before, and um, I, I married into the into the business. Uh, it's been um, uh, three decades of, uh, of prior before me, and uh, when I got into it, I put more of a, uh, a a bad boy kind of feel to it. So we got the, the biker bits and the and the skull bits and the uh, spiky bits. And then we mix that with uh, all the pretty bits. So basically have everything for everybody. But what inspired it, though? Um, just, you know, I, I like tattoos. I like uh, motorcycles. Uh, I like rock and roll music. I like all music, actually. And um, I, I just thought that, you know, there's not enough uh, of that type of uh, blending, really. I mean, things are really plain and simple. And I thought that, you know... Uh, there are a couple of people, you know, doing doing what I've done for, you know, centuries actually. But um, I thought that, you know, the 20th century needs somebody new in that, so I put it together. Okay, so let's have a look and see what you got. Yeah, for sure. Take um, me around. Give me a tour. For example, uh, I was just polishing this bit here. This is a uh, uh, pink coral with CZ in uh, 925 silver. It's a very beautiful piece, and it's and it's got a um, matching bracelet there, and then we've got some earrings to go along with that so, so well, when you're looking at something like that how much are we looking at uh, let's say okay so so for example for example this 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 bracelet here is 120 okay these earrings are 80 and this is 70 so we're looking at 270 for the whole set okay and um that's on that bit and we've got something a little bit more a little bit more dear which is a uh, Emerald, sapphire, and ruby. Natural stones embedded in silver on a mink bracelet. And that goes for 320 And these are all natural stones. Um, I suppose that we could do any type of stone that the customer would like. Like, for example, this one's just pure emerald. And so how do you guys... How do you get to the, that price? How do you... How can you, like... Say what I can I can come across I'll, I'll charge up 120 for that. How well, do you the, get to valuation? The, the the valuation comes into the rarity of the stone, the quality of the stone, the uh, craftsmanship of the work, and the price of the materials. So once we put all that together, mm -hmm. we come up with a fair price that people can can live with and not not feel as they um, made a mis uh, made a mistake. Yeah. So uh, I, we really want to do something different where people leave satisfied yes. and happy and know that their, their quality and their stones are authentic. And mm -hmm. we encourage all of our customers to have their items authenticated because the sad reality is that a lot of people um, don't, don't do this. They, right. they just take the... Um, the uh, the salesperson's word for it, mm -hmm. and um, that's okay because uh, humanly, instinctively, we're trustworthy. Yes, you know, uh, by nature. Yeah, and um, unfortunately, there are people out there, a few, you know, not obviously not everybody. Yes, but there are a few people that do take advantage of that, and um, we are we try to you know educate people so they so they don't make that mistake. Right. And uh, get actually what they're paying for. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Come on in. And um, uh, we've got other bits here. If if uh, this is a little bit too classic. What about the biker stuff? That's yeah. the stuff I want to see. Okay, yeah. So for sure, um, we've got some 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 biker stuff in in here. Some scullery bits and that. And uh, we try to give people a uh, a wide range of uh, 
of different pieces. So we've got everything from, you know, knuckle dusters, you know, rings, and uh, that bit's 45, and that's 925 silver. So um, our prices are very it's competitive. Like a Native American I've got to see there. No, which, one the, which one is that? Uh, right in back, this one here looks like a Native American. This guy here? No, no, the one, behind, the one in front of him. This one yeah. here? No, no, that's actually a caveman. Okay, that's <laughs> apologies. Yeah, a, a caveman on this side. What's the hit? Okay. Or, and a skull on that side. See that again? So, so it's a caveman right here. It's a slower. And then we've got the skull. Oh, wow. On the other side. Okay. Yeah, so we, we try to give like a... Uh, a feel of like we're all we're all cavemen or women and uh, we've all got skull underneath so we're all the same in that so um, we've got very nice uh, uh, cocktail style party stuff uh, we've got the black onyx here the smoky smoky quartz in the back we've got a couple of mystic topaz right there the blue and the euro and here we've got the um, amethyst with uh, Amethyst, yeah. yeah, a couple of um, smoke, uh, what's it called, um, mystic topaz, and we've got some tourmalines over here, which is very nice. Down here at the bottom, we've got citrine, okay. citrine. lemon quartz, and green amethyst, which is uh, also called perlisite. Um, here we've got a lot of the plain bits, uh, very nice, plain silver. Here we've got, uh, you know, uh, lockets, uh, perfume lockets, where you can actually put liquid inside a locket and it holds the perfume. Or you can do pictures. We also have bits where you can put powder, like a Cleopatra poison rings wow. and poison pendants. Okay. Up here on the top, we've got some garnet, and uh, the blue bits are the blue topaz. All our, na all our stones are natural and untreated. We, we mine it from the earth and we put it back in and make beautiful jewelry out of it. And we don't ha harm any children or animals through this process. Up here we've got a uh, perlisite, which is the kind of a cousin of labradorite. You can actually see the whole world in there. Uh, down below we've got turquoise and uh, white uh, mother of pearl. We also have black mother pearl shell on the other bits I'll show you guys later. And we've got some shells and um, turquoise as I stated and some opal uh, in here. Down here at the bottoms we have all seashells that were created in the beautiful jewelry. And here we've got red coral and black coral. Very beautiful pieces of natural coral designed with silver bits of jewelry. And uh, in this section, we've got mainly animals. I love animals, so we do all these animal bits. You've got squirt. If it, if it flies, crawls, swims, or walks, we have it up get here. get close-up on that. Yeah, we have that in here. And some bits are with stones. That, for this example, this is a dragonfly with, with uh, turquoise. And then we've got a dragonfly with... Garnet and dragonfly. Any lions? With peridot. Oh yeah, we've got tons of lions. Get me a lion. Uh, Any lion. A lion. Yeah, that one there. That one Rory. That one Rory. That uh, one, not the one behind it. One behind it. Big fat one. The big head. That, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. actually a tiger. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything in the lion. Okay. The tigers. Okay. Have a good day today. So we've got a tiger with onyx eyes, and it's a pretty massive, gigantic ring. We've got a beautiful panther here. It's a complete open mouth. So the finger goes all the way through that, and that's a that's a pretty how much are we looking at for something like that? Pretty good statement piece. Uh, we're we're here. We're in the 200 250 range, uh, depending on the size of the piece. And then we've got a brilliant wolf, roaring wolf here with open mouth. And we've got you know uh, we don't even have uh, the new animals. We've got all the extinct animals too. Unfortunately, the saber tooth tiger. It's extinct in the wild, but it's actually living here at Gothica Jewelry. This time I found the Native American. Right, what about this one over here? That's okay. a Native American. That's a, that's a real naked Native American, and it's made in a Native American style with turquoise and red agate. And what we do is uh, we cut each individual stone and place them and set them in so it gives it a real proper, uh, you know, feathery head chief type of guy. Here we've got the uh, onyx and mother of pearl. 
and uh, you know, we, it's, it's handmade, each individually cut. Two of them look like, fa I like this one fascinates me, this one here. Okay, so this one here, this one here has um, uh, lapis, uh, red agate, green agate, and you know, same conceptual. So uh, not so. only do we do this type of stuff. That's, uh, what is that? That's an eagle signet. I uh, love that. Yeah, it's, it's wrapped all the way around. And uh, that one's 55, and it's a pretty solid chunk piece of silver. Um, do you so, have any African type? Yes. Well, what, also what we do is, is, is we, we, make, we, we can make custom orders. So if you have a design, if you have a picture in your head, if, if you have a, 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 a concept, uh, we can we can put that we'll put that on uh, a computer graphic for you. We'll send you a rendering, three dimensional all the way through, with the measurements, approximately about the weight. We turn that into wax, then we cast it for you. And if you wanted any stones, you can uh, put in the description of any any type of stones that you want. So um, not only do we do uh, custom. We also do custom stones, and we do silver, platinum, and gold. So if you wanted something in gold, 9 karat, up to 22 karat, anything in between, platinum also, uh, we do that, and of course, silver. Wow. So how, what, what times do you open, and where are you located? So we're at 12 Montague uh, in beautiful sunny Worthing, which is not so beautiful and sunny today, but it's still beautiful. And uh, we're closed on Mondays, and we're usually open between... 10:30 and 4:30. So come on in and uh, you know give a shout out to me. Um, happy to answer any questions that you'd like. Don't feel that you need to purchase anything. I'm just happy to see you and and, and answer any questions uh, as I said. And uh, let me know that you uh, you're a friend of Ingram's and I'll take extra special care of you. There you go, Omar. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming.